nobody wants to see their guinea pig sick. And to avoid this, I'm going to tell you the facts about the most common signs of illness. With many years of experience as a guinea pig owner and hundreds of hours of research on the subject, I will rank the main symptoms of illness that a guinea pig can have, up to level 100. This is not an easy task at first, but by being aware of your guinea pig's behavior, you can keep them healthy. Decoding these symptoms quickly can prevent many complications. If you're a guinea pig owner, but you don't know if your piggy is sick or ill, stay until the end to discover the most important signs that they might be sick. From the least alarming to the most critical, let's identify the different signs of illness, starting with. At level 10, we have hair loss. Not because it's unimportant, but because it is one of the most obvious symptoms that you can easily identify. Guinea pigs can shed their fur on different occasions throughout the year, but it is not normal for them to lose their hair. If you notice a missing patch of fur, this is something that is alarming. Hair loss can be the first symptom of something serious like ringworm, infection, or something else. By assessing this symptom with a veterinarian, you can treat the condition immediately. Later in this video I will talk to you about more important symptoms that can really help you save their life. But before all that at level 20 we have, lumps or lymphadenitis. Some guinea pigs that appear healthy might be hiding that they are sick. If your guinea pig has a lump, it could be a minor issue like an infection or an abscess, or something more serious like a cyst or a tumor. By regularly petting your guinea pig, you'll be able to detect any unusual lumps on their skin. These lumps can be located on the bottom, sides, or around the neck. Obtaining an early diagnosis from your vet can prevent further complications and save on significant medical expenses later. A guinea pig displaying any of these symptoms is certainly not feeling well. Compared to other symptoms that I will discuss, they can survive another day, as long as you take care of them and call your vet if the situation get worst. The level 30 of the symptoms of illness is when a guinea pig is drinking water more frequently. Why did no one tell me that this symptom could result in a life-threatening situation? Excessive drinking, also known as polydipsia in the medical community, can occur in both animals and humans. I remember the first year we had our first guinea pig, I was surprised to observe that Sarah was drinking more than Noodle. I remember that I'd read something about excessive drinking and I got totally freaked out. After calling our vet, she told us that it is normal for one guinea pig to drink more than the others. What is not normal and should be concerning is when there is a change in their habit. This does not include the increased thirst during summertime, especially in the middle of a heat wave. But when a guinea pig is drinking more frequently than usual, it could be the symptom of a pre-existing condition that can have serious consequences. Just to name a few possibilities, your guinea pig could have some digestive or gastrointestinal problems, and not least, just like humans, they can develop diabetes. If you suspect something, keep track of your guinea pig's weight and how much water they drink. Do not hesitate to contact your vet for any abnormal changes. Guinea pigs are prey animals and have developed the remarkable skill of hiding any signs of illness to survive in the wild. As pets, they continue to do this, making it challenging for owners to detect when they are not doing great. The following symptoms are quite noticeable. Recognizing them can allow you to prevent further complications. From an excess of calcium in their diet to bladder stones at level 40 we have the irregular urine. If you observe something unusual when changing the fleece bedding of their cage, you should be concerned. You might discover white powdery stains, where they usually pee. When you see this, don't panic, but it is time to take action. Some veggies like spinach, kale, and parsley are high in calcium. When your guinea pig eats too much of them, their digestive system will try to eliminate the excess mineral in their pee. If they are unable to eliminate all of it, they can get complications like bladder stones. If you know that your guinea pig eats lots of these veggies, try to change their diet. After a couple of days, if the white and cloudy trace doesn't disappear, or if you see orange or pink in their urine, it is important to contact your vet. This could be a bacterial infection, bladder stones, or something much worse that requires medication or medical intervention. Inconsistent poop, diarrhea, or constipation are the level 50 of the sign of sickness. Have you ever wonder why your guinea pig are producing so many poop pellets? 
It's certainly annoying to have to pick them up every day, and it's even worse when the cage was cleaned 10 minutes ago and I'm ready to make cute videos. Just like yours, our guinea pig cage can be messy. The good news about their poop, as I mentioned in my video on this subject, is that it's very easy to see if something is going wrong with your guinea pig. Inconsistent poop, diarrhea, or constipation can indicate various health issues. Often, it's a dietary issue that can sometimes be resolved in a few days with the proper diet. Some symptoms, such as small, dry, tear-shaped, or clumped feces, suggest gut problems, constipation, dehydration, or other digestive issues. When your guinea pig is unable to poop normally, seems to be in pain while passing stools, or if you see blood, it's crucial to consult a veterinarian immediately as these can lead to serious complications. Remember, guinea pigs have their own way of communicating with us. The upcoming levels we will explore are more serious, and having access to a veterinarian will be the best defense to ensure their safety. Discharge from the eyes or nose is a concerning symptom, which is why it's placed at level 60. People often ask me how to detect if a guinea pig is ill without communicating with them. This is a valid question. You can tell if they are sick if you see a continuous discharge from their nose or eyes. However, don't be confused or alarmed by the liquid they produce around their eyes for self-cleaning. Guinea pigs may poke their eyes or get a piece of hay stuck in their nose, which can produce some unusual discharge. The sight of mucus from their eyes or nose on their adorable little faces could be the result of many things, such as an infection, ulcers, conjunctivitis, glaucoma, or something else. This is a serious condition if the discharge continues for more than a day, and it needs to be assessed promptly by your veterinarian. The level 70 of the symptoms that tells you that tour guinea pig is sick, we have weight loss. I remember the story of a viewer who noticed a sudden change in one of their guinea pig's appearance and behavior. With the advice of their veterinarian, they realized the guinea pig had lost weight compared to the last visit. As the vet said, there are different reasons why a guinea pig can lose weight rapidly. Some of the causes can be poor diet, parasites, infection, stress, metabolic disorders, or even dental problems. The dangers of rapid weight loss for guinea pigs can lead to malnutrition, organ failure, and even worse. This is a challenge that no owner wants to face, but one that requires immediate action to keep your guinea pig healthy. After all those symptoms, you might wonder what worse could happen to my guinea pigs. Wait until you find the most crucial symptoms that a guinea pig owner must identify immediately. At level 80 of the ranking we have a symptoms that is more audible than visual. Like for humans, hearing this sounds is never good. When you hear a guinea pig wheezing or having difficulty breathing, this is never a good sign. They can have difficulty breathing for several reasons, and it is important to provide proper care to ensure their well-being. Some common reasons for breeding difficulties can be respiratory infections, allergies, heart disease, or environmental factors. Like humans, they can have pneumonia from a bacterial infection. They can develop allergies if their hay is too dusty or their room has poor ventilation. If your guinea pig is breathing quickly or it sounds like they're whistling or squeaking when they breathe, they might be feeling sick. If they seem to be having trouble breathing, you should get help from a vet right away. It is certainly abnormal for a guinea pig not to want to move, even for their favorite treat. This is why lethargy is at level 90 on the symptoms list. When a guinea pig is not really moving, or lethargic they can sometimes eat and sometimes not. It is possible that your guinea pig is under the weather if they feel bloated because they have eaten something strange. I recall the first incident with Pumpkin. We'd only had her for a few weeks when one morning, she started moving slowly and sleeping excessively. Inexperienced guinea pig owners might think that their pet is tired, bored, or just wants to be left alone. But for a guinea pig, this is not normal. After spending countless hours doing research, we decided to visit an exotic animal veterinarian. At the clinic, we were able to diagnose her symptoms in time to save Pumpkin. The vet discovered that she had an ovarian cyst. This was a close call, but we managed to avoid further distress. Because we responded quickly, she is now doing well. Usually, when a young guinea pig is lethargic, it indicates a serious issue. Acting promptly and consulting a vet can improve your chances of saving your delicate pet. 
At level 100, we have loss of appetite or difficulties to eat. Have you ever seen a guinea pig uninterested by some fresh and delicious piece of food? Guinea pigs can eat all the time, and seeing one of them lose appetite is really concerning. As you should know from watching my other videos, 80% of a guinea pig's diet is made up of hay, and there is a variety of different types available on the market. Some hay will always be wasted, but if your guinea pigs don't touch it, that's not normal. One of the main reasons for uneaten hay is because it is dirty and needs to be replaced. No matter where you put the hay, whether in a rack, bag, or plate, your guinea pigs will always find a way to relieve themselves on it. After a day, the soiled hay becomes stinky, and your piggies won't touch it. Another reason why they don't eat their hay is if they have too many pellets and vegetables. I know it's hard to resist when they weak after we open the fridge or a plastic bag, but it's important to manage their intake. If your guinea pig doesn't even have an appetite for their favorite veggies, this is completely abnormal and you must contact your vet immediately. Aside from old age, loss of appetite in your guinea pig is often related to a medical condition such as a dental problem, mouth injuries, an internal blockage, or a serious health issue. If you are not a specialist, please contact your veterinarian promptly for a proper diagnosis. When a guinea pig stops eating and doesn't have any intake of food for more than 12 hours, there is a great probability of developing gastrointestinal stasis. Therefore, the digestive system slows down or stops, preventing food and water from moving through the intestine at a normal speed. If untreated, it can lead to life-threatening consequences if you don't act promptly. Quickly identifying potential illnesses in your guinea pigs is vital for their health. If you notice any irregular symptoms, don't panic. Stay calm, stop doom scrolling, and promptly call your veterinarian. A professional can provide appropriate advice to help your guinea pig. One more thing that you can learn easily is how to make your fluffy pets happy by watching these videos. I have created this two-part series to help you keep them happy. And because you are an awesome guinea pig owner, you can do it. Thank you for watching.